So yesterday I posted a video about this new primate that has been found and as always, the comment section is full of great questions. Thank you. So let me go through some of those. Someone, as a joke, said, okay, if that number is prime, then add two, that's also prime. I checked. Well, it turns out that cannot be prime because if two to the p plus one is prime, then p is equal to two because two to the p plus one when p is odd is always divisible by three. Have we found any prime in between? No way. This is just a way out in the number line and we know that's a prime, but we have not checked every number in between. This is correct. We do not know whether there are infinitely many uh, perfect numbers, so we do not know if there are infinitely many Mersenne primes. However, we conjecture that there are infinitely many Mersenne primes, so we conjecture that there are infinitely many even perfect numbers. We have no idea about odd perfect numbers. What is the largest n such that we have a complete list of all the prime numbers up to that number? Uh, I don't know. There are, though, resources out there. For example, there is some website online that gives you every prime up to one trillion. Yes, there are other types of numbers, other types of prime numbers that are non mersenne that people work with. And if you go to the lists of records of prime numbers, you'll see that there are prime numbers that are of other types that are not mersenne But typically the records happen first for mersenne primes because they are the easiest to compute with. How do you compute that mersenne number is actually a prime number? Well, there are some uh, tests, so there are some theorems that have been shown about what are the possible uh, prime factors of a Mersenne number, and then we check those uh, factors. Uh, those theorems, for example, there is a theorem called the Lucas Lemmer test, and it tells you exactly that the divisors, the possible prime divisors of a Mersenne number, are, are of a very particular form. So you can go to your computer and check all of those that could be a prime divisor. And if you exhaust all of those, then you've proved that your number is a prime number. And that is exactly what happened. In this case, there was a very large search for possible prime divisors of this number. No prime divisors were found, and therefore it was proved to be prime.